Well, hi there, and welcome to the ISCFX Options Weekly Outlook for September 21st, 2009. I'm Jason Ayers of OptionsSource.net. As always, let's start with a look at our U.S. dollar index. This is a weekly chart. This is a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. As we can see here, the U.S. dollar index tested a very important support level, and we remain within this zone. At this point, we do anticipate a uh, likely snapback as the 7677 focal zone is an important support level in the bigger picture. At this stage, we have a key resistance up in that 7879 range, and uh, a test back up into this is a, a high probability. If the US dollar index is unable to hold this level here and continues its move to the downside, we will be targeting the 7374 zone. If we take a quick look at our daily snapshot, you can see here that the U.S. dollar index ended the week on a positive note. Uh, uh, Thursday trading right down very close to that 76 mark, and of course Friday uh, reversing, suggesting the possibility once again of a move back up into that 78 zone. If once again this uh, level does not hold, we will be targeting the 73.74 box to the downside. Let's take a look at the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar, and uh, we still remain within that 107-108 focal zone, suggesting a very strong uh, support here. Now, at this point, if we are able to break back uh, within that uh, 108 zone, then we are likely to test 111-112 to the upside. If the pair value is unable to uh, strengthen and, and hold this level, the 103-104 focal zone remains our next downside target. Well, the U.S. dollar is starting to show some signs of stabilization against the yen, as seen here in the ISCFX options pair value YUK. Now, we had this 89.90 focal zone as being an important uh, uh, area to the downside. We came very close to uh, the uh, upper range uh, of this uh, of this focal zone uh, before we saw a bit of a reversal. And at this point, it does appear as though we may see a test back up into this 92, 92 and a half box. Well, let's take a look at the U.S. dollar versus the euro here in the EUI. Now, the U.S. dollar continued to weaken against the euro, and after completing an anticipated test of the lower range of our 68, 68 and a half box, we are expecting a retracement that should yield a test back up into the 69 and a half 70 zone. If we fail to see support come in here at the 68, 68 and a half level, we are looking for a move that may extend as deep as 66. Well, the U.S. dollar gained some ground against the pound, as we can see here in the ISCFX options pair value BPX. We found support down within that 60, 60 and a half focal zone, and we've been uh, trading to the upside for about a week now, suggesting the high probability of a test up into the 62, 62 and a half zone. If we're able to break this key overhead resistance, we will be targeting the 64, 65 box to the upside. Let's take a look at the AUX, the U.S. versus the Australian dollar, and right now we're testing a very important support level within the 114, 115 uh, range, and if this level does not hold, we will be targeting 110 to the downside. However, a reversal here is likely to trade back up into the 117, 118 zone. Okay, let's review our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar is trading very close to our 76 target. Although there are no technical signs of a reversal, we suspect some consolidation here with the possibility of a reversal. Our momentum indicators seem to be pointing to us slowing in the current downtrend. The CDD still holds at 107. We need to see a break below 106.5 to support a continuation of the current downtrend. The YUK tested 90 and appears to be running out of momentum. After such a big move to the downside, we suspect the retracement. The EUI traded below our 68 target. All signs still point to a continuation down. However, with 68 being an important support, a bounce is expected. The BPX is showing signs of strength with our trend indicator suggesting the start of a bigger picture retracement. With a strong resistance at 62, we would like to see a break above this level to lend further credibility to this move. And finally, the AUX traded into our lower, lower target and spent the week within the 114-115 focal zone. Although their trend continues to peer down, it would be large, logical to see a bounce here. And this has been your ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for September 21st, 2009. I'm Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Thanks for joining me here this week. We'll see you here next week.